Hey, welcome back. So I restarted the mission and I bought me some uh, rope arrows. Um, in fact, as many as I could buy, which is five, as it turns out. And I played back up to this point. Um, I'm still gonna have to do that bit where the Colosseum's at again. Um, I hope you don't mind too much. It's not that long. Uh, it shouldn't take too long anyway. Um, let's see here. Where am I at? I think that's the way I want to go. But I'll go this way first. For reasons? Hmm. Yeah. I have to go this way, apparently. But, so with those rope arrows, I can actually, you know, like, beat the mission now. Which I, uh, uh, I, I feel is an important aspect of this game, um, being able to beat the mission. Hmm. So, now that we're down here, this is where, uh, Emperor whatever died. It, the Emperor that everybody thought the the world was weeping for, which is what was causing all the earthquakes and the volcanoes to explode. You know, all the shit that basically made this place inhospitable. Okay, got him. hum da dum da dum hum da dum da dum Oh, oops. You cannot run from the I died. Um <laughs> Hmm. That didn't work out so well. Disturbs me. Nothing. Knock your bitch ass out. Here it is. This is that little lever I needed. So I'll be able to dick around with that now. I think there's gold over where these guys are at, so I'm just gonna go like the use it over are not there. At peace. Huh. There is a join me not against this outsider. outsider. Dealt with. Yeah, look at that. Money. Plenty of money. More than enough than the cost of that flash bomb. I don't know if that's actually true. Um I'm just saying that. I'm gonna pretend like it was. Because the flash bomb, I think, is like 200. It costs, uh, yeah, like 200 or some odd. So if you get 200 or more per each flash bomb you buy slash use, I mean, it's worth it. It's always worth it, frankly, because you never get to keep the money from mission to mission. So even if you just, like, frivolously spend it. Check this out. This is a cool trap. <laughs> That'll teach you for walking through. kind of a cheap trap though the only warning they give you is that there's like a skeleton and a dead guy which is not sufficient warning as far as I'm concerned um, yeah, let's go ahead and try to grab all these rope arrows just in case um, I break a few I'd rather not break any but just in case it's always nice to have some rope arrows. Even if you don't need them to beat the mission, as it turns out. You know. Of course you need them to beat the mission. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll grab that gas arrow and that silver again. There we go. Yay. Money. I need to come across a health potion here pretty damn quick. Um, I, I got, uh, kind of screwed this time when I was coming up on those mages. So, one of the water mages shot a little, like, bolt of ice at me and took most of my hit points away. Which, uh, it's kind of a, uh, that's... It makes this risky business because you, I mean, you could just take damage from a particularly larger fall than normal. Um, and that adds up pretty damn quick. It's always nice to have a lot of hit points available. At least if you can help it. 
I mean, I did I did finish Crag's Cleft, the prison mission, with like three shields or something. But I wasn't enjoying it because I knew that one one misstep, you know, and I could die. And then I'd be a really sad panda. Hmm. Okay, so now it's just gotta it's just just gotta go over to the where the uh, little I guess King's Coliseum and stuff is at, so we can get that fire talisman, which shouldn't be too difficult. I have to do it again. I mean, I mentioned that before. All of this, I have to do again. But yeah, it's not it's not too too hard. Once I, you know, I mean, it's most of the most of the amount of time in this mission is taken up by remembering it or learning it, whatever that whatever the case may be. So once you kind of figured out where you have to go and what you have to do, it, it, it you can just kind of zip on through it. Because it's not an overly long, like, uh, size-wise mission, I don't think. It might be if you were just to, like, track it in amount of feet that you have to travel and... Like, how much backtracking you have to do, but... It's, it's fairly straightforward. Most of the missions in this, uh, in this game are like that. Um... The missions in Thief 2 are noticeably larger, and on the sem same token, the missions in Thief 3 are noticeably smaller, so, and worse yet, in Thief 3, they're all very linear. They're very, very linear, which isn't always a bad thing. It does, doesn't really befit what Thief's game mechanic is. And that's really the reason why Thief 2 is, uh, at least I think, is, is the best. You can kind of skip the other ones. They're still fun to play. Well, at least for the most part. Um, but if you, if you need a concentrated experience just to know what it's all about, it's good to know what the best one is, so... Oh, look at that. Yay. I get to steal all this again. Although, I don't think it really... Uh-oh. Oh, that was dangerous. I don't really think it counts as stealing if uh, the inhabitants have been dead for, like, probably a millennia. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that counts as stealing anymore. I guess it could. But that's a pretty stringent... Um, definition of theft. You, you could consider it burial robbing, I guess. I don't know. Certainly Garrett isn't going to use it for any altruistic purposes. It's just money to him. Um, so, you know, he's not piecing together a civilization like, say, an archaeologist might. Yeah, it's probably still considered theft then. I doubt he cares. I don't even know if I care. Because this is a video game. And I am disinclined to be concerned about artificial uh, relics. If it was real, I think I might be upset about that. I'm a big fan of um, the fields of archaeology and history and grave robbing. And any kind of tomb theft, if it doesn't find its way into a museum and has its science applied to it, um, definitely hurts. I mean, not like emotionally too much, because I'm not that invested, but it's a shame. It, it definitely, you can, you could definitely feel like there's, there's, uh, certain amount of history and cultural relics that, or not relics, but um, cultural her heritage that can be lost that way. 
and in fact does get lost that way. Well, I think it's time for me to say goodbye. I'll catch you next time.